Hello and welcome back to Tools Math Tools. In our session today, we're solving equations involving fractions. And if you're ready, let's get started. In our equation today that we're going to be solving, Remember that we're going to begin this just like we did the others where we're solving fractions with unlike denominators. Remember that our first step is always to find our LCD. And we know that the LCD for 7 and 10 is going to be 70. So now that we have our LCD, let's convert our fraction into its equivalent form where both of them have a denominator of 70. And we're going to begin by converting our first term, which is 2u minus 3, all over 7. And remember that we're changing this to its equivalent form, where it has a denominator of 70. And remember that we're looking for a number that when we multiply it to 7, it's going to give us 70. And we know that 10 times 7 is equal to 70. So that means we're going to multiply our numerator now by everything being multiplied to 10. So 10 times 2u will equal to 20u and 10 times negative 3 will equal to negative 30. So our first fraction's equivalent form is going to be 20u minus 30. Now let's convert our second term which is 3u minus 5 with a denominator of 10 and again we're changing this to its equivalent form where we have 70 as its denominator. So we're looking for that number that when we multiply 10 by it, it's going to give us 70. And we know that 7 times 10 is 70. So everything in our numerator will be multiplied by 7. So 7 times 3u will equal to 21u. And 7 times 5 will equal to negative 35. So our equation is now equal to 21u minus 35. So now that our fraction have their equivalent form and a common denominator, we can now eliminate our denominator and begin working out our fractions for our unknown term. So we're going to begin by collecting our like terms. So I'm going to start by moving my larger terms to their smaller terms that way i won't have to worry about working with any negatives so i'm going to start with my u and since 20u is smaller than 21u i'm going to move my 20u to the other side of the equation so on my left hand side i would be left with my negative 30 and i'll now have 21u minus 20u minus my 35 putting back my negative 30 so 21 minus 20 will equal to just u minus 35 and now I'm going to move my 35 over to my 30 so I'll have negative 30 plus 35 equal to just u and again remember as I said before in a lot of my videos that you know even though I'm going somewhat the longer way Remember that if you're at that point where you're able to collect your terms in one step because, you know, if you're at that point where you can work, you know that you can move your 21 and your 30 all in one step and you don't have to do these multiple steps. But again, remember, I'm working these questions out in this way in case I have persons who are following me for the first time and they're not that good in algebra, at least they'll still be able to follow along with me and understand how we're working through this question. But remember that you don't have to go through all of these steps. You can still do it a little bit quicker and maybe you'll get your answer faster. But again, we're working for those persons who may not be up to speed and this may be their first time or they may be in the warm up phase just learning about these little tips and tricks. So, you know, feel free to work at your pace. But I'm working at the pace to help everybody and to make sure that as much people is able to follow along with the steps as possible. 
Okay, so in this step, we're going to be applying our rules for integers. So we have negative 30 plus 35, and we know that we're integers. I want you to remember also, I'm going to rewrite this expression. Remember that um, plus 35 minus 30, did these two, even though they're written differently, mean the exact same thing? So being able to rewrite the terms also help if you're able to do so. But just remember that if you're getting integers, we know that with integers, Whenever you are adding or subtracting and the signs are different, we always subtract the numbers. So we'd have 30 being subtracted from 35, which will equal to 5. And we keep the sign of the larger number. And our larger number in this case, not looking at the signs, is 35. So my 5 would be positive. And that would be the same thing here. If we were to subtract 30 from 35, we would have still gotten 5. So just remember your rules for integers in some of these cases as well. So are you in this case equal to five? Okay, so it's time to check our answer. You know, we always do the step before we close out. So if you is equal to five, that means we're now going to be replacing you everywhere that it appears in our equation with the number five. So we always show our substitution first, and then we're going to begin working through our question. So we know that 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So we have 7 7s. 3 times 5 is 15, and 15 minus 5 is 10. So we have 7 7s and 10 10s. 10. Now here's the part you need to remember. Remember that with fractions, whenever our numerator and denominator is the exact same number, that means they're equal to one whole. So our answer in this case still equals to the same thing because 7 7 is one whole and 10 10 is one whole. So now that our answers on both sides are equal, this tells us that our u equals 5 is the correct solution for our equation. Okay, so I hope this video was extremely helpful to you. I hope you were able to follow the steps easily. And most important, I hope that you checked your answer after solving your equation. Remember that your check is just as important as solving the equation. And in some cases, it can be even more important because it'll let you know in advance if your answer is correct or incorrect. So, okay, I hope this was helpful to you. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And I'll see you again in the next one. So, remember that this is Jules Math Tools where we make math easy.